Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Western Taco upload. Thank you for tuning in today, greatly appreciate it. Criminality is a very large game. It has a huge development team with a bunch of talented developers, a large expansive system of guns, mechanics, and stuff alike, and even a large map. That's why from time to time you might not notice a couple of things. There's a lot of hidden features or stuff that you just never really have paid attention to. And that's why in today's video I'm going to be showing you 10 more things that you probably didn't know about criminality. Let's get into it. The first thing that we're going to cover are jump spots. That's because there's a lot of jump spots in this game, some that I'm even just finding now. The first one that we're going to be looking at is this one. You get on top of this blue bin and then you can jump over here. And then you just run over here into this red wall if you really need to there's also another jump spot over here if you want to get across this wall over here you can get on this ladder jump over here land on that wall and then you can get over with a little bit of parkour you can get on top of this wall over here you just have to There we go. If you're over here at Garage Hideout number two, next to Junkyard, and you want to get down pretty quickly without taking any fall damage, you can hit any of the surrounding walls near the hideout, and you won't take any fall damage. But you have to be on the second floor for it to work, or you will take fall damage. So I'll show you it right now. Come over here, run down there, hit the wall, and then you're good. A new jump spot that I just found out about a couple days ago. If you want to get on top of Factory over here, you can jump on top of this door right here. It has to be facing outward, so you go from in here and then out there. You get on top of the door and then get up. There we go. If you want to get into Motel faster, you know, maybe loot the safes and stuff, get on top of this green trash bin to the window, hug the wall, jump up. There we go. If you want to get down tower faster, but you don't really feel like taking the stairs, you can go on these edges right here. Just, whoa. Just, you know, fall down. You can do that from the top of tower as well. It's just a little bit harder. In my last video that I did on this, I was told that Delivering Creations, the person that made all the audio for this game, also made the map. I didn't know that beforehand. So thank you guys so much for telling me that and correcting my mistake. So vending machines we love them right they give us sweet treats savory foods and even sweet drinks but you know sometimes they can give you stuff that's not rather edible or drinkable if you count stuff like rage dose as edible i mean yeah sure if you don't ever break it with how much you use it you can get a c4 a fun little fact about the c4 the c4's beeping and detonating sound is directly taken from csgo If you time it right with any action that you perform, you can switch out something in your inventory for something else. So I'm going to start putting in the code for this C4, but I'm going to replace it with the claw. See there? You can do this with about anything, so I'm going to do it with the machete in my inventory now. There you go, and now my nunchucks. This also works with finishes, breaking open safes, and breaking open registers. I just didn't have enough time to get it all in footage, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Over here in this cave, right over here, right next to Motel and Tower, there's a little bit of a glitch right over here. If you angle your camera correctly, you'll be on surface level, and then you're in the sewer level. If you're over here in the caves, which is just around Motel and Tower, there's a vending machine over here. But what is it exactly connected to? I don't really know, but there's a little secret over here. It says, where the outlet, bruh? If you're inside of this building right here, and you're just going up the stairs, you may notice something a little bit strange about the stairs. That's a picture of the rake there, which, if you didn't already know, the creator of Criminality, RBBZ, has also worked on the famous game, The Rake. If you hit it just right, you can play basketball with a grenade. Inside of the basketball court, is a moldy piece of cheese. If you're looking for dealers and sewers, there's one near workshop. Just go down here, all the way over here. Go down this ladder. Jump in the water, go up here. And there you go. Now, if you're looking for a dealer that's a little bit more unpopular in sewers and that not much people go to, there's one all the way over here. Just take a nice long stroll down this long corridor 
And when you get to this little door thing over here, you're gonna wanna just go straight. Don't go over there. And once you're at the end of this little corridor thing, you should meet a dealer. It'll usually be stacked with lots of things. You know, we got chainsaws, mirrors, and AKs. He doesn't really have a name though. No one's really given a name to him. So I think we'll just call him Bob. And that about wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed watching, please consider liking and subscribing. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers, it's atrocious. It's my ultimate dream to hit 1,000 subscribers. And we're gonna do it in under a year too. If we get this video to 40 likes, I'll make a part three. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.